you Sunny for sending me this article and it's an interesting one I think and it's about Nigel Benn and Chris Eubank Sr having a rematch 25 years after their last one and we know that um, we've done reports before about this fight is going to be on then it's off then Chris Eubank Sr put himself out of it then uh, Steve Collins stepped in to take on Nigel Benn all this kind of thing so we know that it's been around the circle and this comes from the sun and I know a lot of people don't like the sun but this is where the story comes from sometimes I get things right now according to a member of Nigel Benn's camp they have said that well actually I'll read out their words uh, this fight has been in the making for three and a half years on and off on and off Nigel is traveling to Spain this week to do a Q&A and he will be making a big announcement so that is a member of Team Ben's statement. Now, what does this mean? So he's talking about how Nigel Ben versus Chris Eubank Sr., the trilogy, as in the third fight, um, could well be on, then it's off, then it's on, then it's off. And then he mentions that Nigel is going to go to Spain at some point this week for a Q&A. Not too sure what date that is. But at this Q&A, he's going to be making a big announcement. So... That has to be that he's talking about an announcement with Chris Eubank Sr., right? Um, otherwise, why mention it in the first place? So, expect that announcement pretty soon. Now, of course, both of these guys, they do have to get past the medicals and they have to convince the British Boxing Board of Control that they are fit enough to compete, all that kind of thing. So, it's not just a case of, right, okay, so we're going to fight, yeah? Okay, done. It doesn't quite work that way, obviously, because these guys are, they're no longer in their prime, shall we say. I mean, they're not exactly old. I mean, Eubank's 52 and Ben is 54. So they are going to have to pass some kind of medical. And I'm presuming that the British Boston Border Control will make them fight with head guards. I'm presuming. Now, these guys don't particularly like each other. And then they get on okay for a couple of years and then they fall out again. So it's a grudge match that a lot of people would like to see, especially if you guys remember the original ones or the original two. Obviously, the first one was um, Chris Eubank knocking out Nigel Benn. Then the rematch was scored as a draw. Personally, I didn't have that rematch as a draw. I felt Nigel Benn won it. But you know what? People have different opinions on that one. So people have been asking for the third fight ever since then but it did never materialised. So it looks like it could well be materialising. So expect an announcement from Nigel Benn this week as to what it could be. Now, it could be a case of um, they are going to announce it for a fight, um, what, beginning of next year? It ain't going to be before the end of this year, surely not. Um, unless, of course, um, a member of Team Benn has got it totally wrong. And in fact, he's going to be announcing that he is actually going to be fighting Steve Collins again. So... Who knows, anyway. So, you drop your thoughts below about it. I'll put this article in the description box, as always. Go give it a read, come to your own conclusions, and drop your thoughts below. Click that thumbs up, and subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.